Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to transform an image to a photocopy style effect using Adobe Photoshop. But before we're gonna start doing that, make sure to subscribe and comment and leave a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Now before we're gonna start uh, with this effect, I just want to say a big shout out to Aileen2017 for sending over these uh, amazing headphones that they call H80 Audiophone. They have a, an active noise cal cancellation options and they are very affordable. I will make sure to put a link where you can find out more about these uh, headphones and uh, yeah, check them out. Okay, so let's open Photoshop and then let's go to my folder and let's open this image in here. All right, so the first thing that uh, you need to know is for this effect to work in a very good way, it's very important to have a very good size image and also a good uh, size uh, resolution, which means the resolution is to be like the DPI to be like 300 DPI. So for example, for us to check this image, I'm going to press Control. Uh, Alt or Command Option I and this will open the image size as you can see we have a very nice uh, resolution with, uh, with the width and height but we have the resolution set to uh, 72 and for me I want it to be 300 alright but I don't want it to be this big uh, the width and height so I will put it back to around 6000 to how it was before and the hope is okay all right next i'm gonna crop this a little bit so i will go to the crop tool and i will make it around like a rectangle like that yeah something like that and i will one click on this check mark all right next i want to apply some adjustment to have a, a more contrasty image so i will go to the adjustment in here and i will choose brightness and contrast and I will put the contrast maybe, yeah, let's keep it to 100. And for the brightness, let's see. I think this image is already have a lot of contrast because it uh, was shot on a black background. So I think for this, I will drop down the contrast even for this to around 60. And as you can see, every image it has its own settings so it's not like something that you will follow exactly with the numbers all right so the next one i'm gonna use is uh, to drop down the, the colors so i will uh, go to hue and saturation and i will turn it to black and white all right i think we are all set with the base color that we want to use now i'm gonna uh, merge everything together but i want to do it in a in a new layer so for me to do that, I can use the, the very big complicated shortcut, which is uh, Control command shift e or command option shift e and this will merge everything on a separated layer or it will make a snapshot of what we have in here in the canvas and put it in a new separate, separated layer, as you can see. And let's call this merged. Alright, now I'm going to right click and I will convert this to a smart object. And after that I will go to filter and I will choose filter gallery in here. Alright, as you can see we don't have any filter selected. So the first filter that I want to use is in the texture folder, which is the grain one. So for this, I think I will keep the contrast set to 50. But for the intensity, let's put it around 30 for now. And let's zoom in to see exactly where is our grain. And let's see before and after. As you can see, you can see the grain in here. Maybe I will put more with the intensity for now. Let's see. Because we're going to apply another filter in the filter gallery window. As you can see in uh, the drop down in here, you can see that we have this plus icon, which means that you can use more than one uh, 
filter that we have in here we have uh, several filters in the in these folders in here so if i press one click to this plus icon i can even make more than green filter on top of each other but uh, for us we're not gonna do that we're gonna keep this second green in here selected and we will go to sketch and we're gonna choose stamp all right as, as you can see now it looks very very bad so this way we can actually adjust the settings in here for example the smoothness i recommend to keep it very low around one or two so for me i will keep it one and then for the light slash dark balance it's pretty much as it said it controls the light and the dark uh, points that we have in here so for this image i think something like this it would work pretty good as you can see so we, i only want to have the details of the hair a little bit more and for us to do this i think we have to go back to the grain yeah, because we have two filters in here that they control each other of the results of uh, uh, the image so let's go back to the grain filter in here and let's drop down the intensity and see what we will have as you can see the more i drop the intensity the more the result change for the hairs and let's see about the contrast too yeah something like that i think it will look very interesting so i will keep it around like 30 to 44 yeah i think it will be all right and the piece okay all right so as you can see we have our own paste photocopy image for now but we're still gonna add some other details but first let me delete this uh, white layer in here all right now uh, the other thing that we're gonna add is gonna be on the filter in here it will be noise and we're gonna add a noise for us to have that grayish that gray noise in the edges in here so i will keep the distribution set to uniform and I will keep uh, monochromatic checked and for the amount I will go between 50 to 60 percent and again it's depend on uh, the image and on uh, the resolution of the image uh, it's better if uh, you have a very nice resolution image when it comes to the DPI of the image all right so I will keep it like that and I will press ok and as you can see it already looks pretty interesting now uh, the other thing that you want to add maybe is a little bit of ripples for the image to look a little bit more destroyed because we want that uh, very nice uh, photocopy that it didn't go that good so we're gonna go back to filter and this is optional you can do that or no so I will go to distort and I will choose ripple and because we have a very big uh, resolution image i will keep the amount set to 100 and the size you can change it between medium and large and you can always go back and change this because we have a smart object so i'm gonna press ok and as you can see how our image changed when it comes to the these things but for me i think i don't like the large option so I will go back to the ripple and for you to change the setting you can just double click on this the name of the filter the ripple and this will open the the ripple window in here and I will put it to medium and the ripple is okay all right so I think it will look much better now let's see before and after Yeah, it definitely look more interesting for me and uh, okay so the, the other thing that we're gonna add is a gradient map so I will go to adjustment again and I will choose gradient map and as you can see this will make it uh, darker because we have black to white in here selected so I will one click on this gradient and in this black stop I will one click on it and I will change the color to let's say like 80% brightness as you can see in here let's keep it 7% and the whip is okay 
and I will take this color stop and I will put it to the location of 7% too or maybe like 5 to have this grayish effect in here and then I will go to this white color stop and I will change the color again to this yellowish to orangey color yeah, something like this and I will press OK and OK and I think it looks really interesting as you can see and if you don't like the the density of uh, the gradient map you can just put down the opacity a little bit to like 70 percent all right I think it looks interesting now I will go back to my folder and as you can see I have in here these three textures that they are actually from a, a website called Texture Fabric. I will make sure to put uh, the link down in the description below. So I'm gonna drop uh, this one of these textures. So I will go with this one and I will put it on top. And let's resize this. And let's make it fit. All right. And I will one click on this check mark after that. Uh, actually, I will right click and I will rasterize the image. And then I will change the blending mode of this to let's say, let's put it to lighten. All right. And I will drop down the opacity to like 40%. All right. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl Command J to duplicate the image. And then I will change the blending mode to color dodge to make it more, to emphasize the edges in here. Maybe I will put up the opacity to like 60%. All right. And that will be our effect, as you can see. All right, so let's check the before and after. So this is before and this is after. All right, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this uh, quick tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe to this channel and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.